Hello, Kelly here from Root Pursuit. Today we're going to work on creating some vintage distressed uh, design elements using these could be used for journal cards or whatever, but we're finding a cute way to use our stencils, our ink pads, and you'll also need just a black fine tip marker uh, of whatever you, you have on hand. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Yeah, so this is kind of a fun project where we are using some of our book pages or other scrap paper. You can use some plain paper. It's totally up to you. But basically what we're doing is we're taking an image or a stencil. I'm going to say stencil. And let's use... Let's use this shape right off the bat so we can create like headers, but let's just, I'll give you an example of what I'm doing. So you take a, a colored ink. So I'm going to use this green here. Let's see if it says lettuce is, I almost said flavor, <laughs> is the color. And we're just, ooh, just make sure you keep your, your ink. <laughs> down and just kind of go along the edges make sure it's all good and and then we've got this little image and then we're taking our fine liner and we're just going along and highlighting the outside so then once we've done that then you can do anything with this you can you know you could I don't know, you could create an image if you want out of it, you know, as far as framing like a flower, pasting some piece of flower in there, or simply uh, creating a header like, um, like that. So you could cut this out and put it on something else. And uh, so that's kind of the first one, but we're going to make a bunch of these so you can kind of see what they look like and what they're about. It really works best with the colored ones, uh, but you can also do some, we're going to try to get sort of a vintage look on some of these. So let's, let's go with the key. And I guess I'll just do both the keys and we'll do, let's try our brown brown little thing here and then we just kind of go over it with the ink you can go light or dark depending on your preference and then again you just kind of go around the edges And this is definitely imperfect. That kind of adds to the, the effect of it. Yeah, so there's that. So now that you've kind of got the idea of what that's, that looks like and you could do more over the top of it but let's try it on some uh, book pages so we've got these book pages laying around maybe from your art journal journal or whatnot and we just want to add some kind of a design so let's see what we've got here we could try a flower let's do I gotta get my Ooh. Dropped it. All right, I got it. So we're going to use this color and kind of hold this down lightly over there. And then take our black. edges and 
And these have a really neat look to them, but they're really quite simple. So there we go. We have a, a book page with a, with a, an image on it. And this can be used like as a background or something. It's kind of, you could, you could add little words in here. You could write in there. So, but there's lots you can do with that. So that's one done. Uh, let's try another book page. I think this, this book page just kind of looks the best my opinion, but am I? I'm going with the green this time. Try to go a little dark. Okay, there's that. So then let's just say I have some kind of a card. I guess I could have prepared this in advance, but I really didn't. But let's just say, let me try this. We'll just kind of loosely, I mean, you could keep that whole page too, but I'm just kind of, Giving you an example. I can just take this. Oop. And glue it down. So then you've got a little accent, like so. So. All right, and you can, you know, as, you can make as many of these as your, you know, imagination. I'm using one of these uh, die, die cuts. So we could do maybe a brown with this one. And you could use a different colored marker. For instance, you know, you've got this brown bear, you could you could use a brown. Um, I think your safest bet though is just to always go with the black. And you can see I'm not tracing this exactly. I just, I'm doing a rough edge. And then you can I mean, I like using these as sort of like a title, but you can also stamp over it. So here, let me give you an example. Um, some kind of stamp to do over the top. I don't know what goes with a bear. <laughs> None of these, but okay. So I think uh, black. Black would be best if we're going over the top. So let's try black. And yes, I grabbed a butterfly. Okay. And we'll just twist that down. So then we've got that. Oh yeah, that's super cute. So just a great way to use your inks in multiple different ways and kind of layer them. So we've got this one. That turned out really cute. Uh, I don't know. I kind of want to do a bear one, but I have another one of these. It's a... It's a train. We will do it over the... And... I think I will, yeah, here we go. I'm gonna use this corduroy color. And this is the Tim Holtz Distress Oxide. So these, these fill in a little darker, more of a solid 
color. Okay. There we go. Now we have our little train. Um, music pages from the hymnal that I had. Ooh. And we have a little train. There's that. And then we could do, again, we could do a stamp over the top. If I the mouse mark. <laughs> well, I could do this. Ooh, what color? What color? Yeah, I'll do it black again. Use my, my root pursuit. I have no idea if this is going to show up, actually. Yeah, it's not. But it still gives it kind of a nice background effect. The stamp has a lot of detail to it, so. And the hymnal pages, they don't show up. Stamps don't show up as good as they do on the. But it does have a, a nice, like, mixed media kind of aspect to it. So, I could actually, oops, page didn't tear straight, but just tear it along the line there, and then maybe add it to a pocket. That could be really cute. Some other stamps I have at the ready, and my bird, and my nest. There we go. Okay, so we're going to do more of these. So let's try another one on the plain paper. And here's something we can do to create some sort of like comments or... Let's see what color. I'm going to do this one again. Oh wait, no, I don't want to do that one. Let me do, let me do the blue this time. And my blue anchor. really fill, filled in quite dark. So for this one, I'll just do my black maybe. I hope I'm in screen. I think I'm going off screen. There we go. And then you could stamp a word in there. So let's do, let's do like a square or something. Let's do a frame. Let's do, here we go. This is cute. I think that's one of the ones I pulled out for this purpose. I feel like maybe a lighter color. A lighter color. Same color in my, my gold and my silver. Let's try those. So we've got that little fine area, and we're going to go So 
So now we've framed it. And then we try flat surface helps a lot. <laughs> okay, so there we've got that we made. So it's one, a nice way to frame your stamps. Um, let's just do, let's do the same one and give you another example. Um, Okay, so we've got that. Just... Yeah, I'm getting the hang of framing that. All right, so we've got our frame. And then we could do a stamped word. We could do a book page word glued in there, or we could do like, uh, I'm just going to do page. So then we have a nice title for our page. We could use that for, so you can see the different, um, styles. I mean, you can, you can really get some kind of fun, different, um, this one says live and work. Let's see here. My, my census one as well. So we can kind of keep going with these. So you can either, you know, cut all of them out individually, or you can just plan to put it on the page you're intending to do. All right, so we have here this moon shape. These aren't very big. I wish I had some bigger ones. Let's try this one. I really like the gold as far as the, the color goes. So I'll go over to this edge. And after this, I'm going to do like a rever like reverse ones as well. And you can see what those look like. Yeah, the gold looks really cute. And I have a silver ink pad and a white ink pad as well. So we could try those. All right. So I'm gonna again, pull out my black. So there's that one. I really wanted to try maybe one of these. Uh, <laughs> and I'm going to cover up some of these other open areas with it. And I'll stick with the gold, I think. go. 
Well, and then we've got a little header. And we can do that. All right. Now, there were some other ones I wanted to do square reverse. So, all we really need is a good square shape. So, square shape here. And this, I mean, we could go any direction, but I think maybe a darker color would work best for this particular one. And well, if I keep thick, actually, I'm going to use this and this. Nope, change my mind. I can do that. And then I'm just going to go over the edge here. Oop, there we go. And then, so essentially what I'm doing is I'm just basically creating a frame here. All right, so we take that away and we've got a frame. And then you can just emphasize that edge however much you want, a little or a lot. Just try, try this. So for this one, I'm gonna do blue. Blue image right in there. So the image matches, or the border matches the stamp image. All right, are we ready? Ta-da! So there, oh, I really like that. That turned out super cool. So, you know, it's just kind of giving you some different options for, I mean, and the only things I'm using here are my stamp pads, which you likely already have, a couple of stencils, maybe your, your ink, your stampers, but you don't even need your, you don't even need stamps. Um, and even just using, like all I used to create this square image was a, a rectangle piece of paper. So really, really easy. Not a lot of items that you need to use. So, I mean, so many different images you can create. You can create, I mean, just in this short amount of time, we created this, our examples. Uh, let's see what we made. Yeah, we made the leaf pattern. We did the keys. And another just label. So, yeah, quite a few different ideas and options here. So, I hope you'll give this a try and use the, the tools that you have. Uh, you can make a really big mess with this project. It's kind of fun. And uh, use your stencils if, if you've got some stencils lying around. And even stencils that you think, you know, you could do um, hearts, bundings with this idea. These are little, you know, talk. What are those? Cloud? Ugh. I think clouds is all they're called. Text clouds, that's the word. You could do arrows. So the arrows might be a little bit fun. And then, you know, create borders and then stamp inside them. The This one turned out really neat. That one turned out really neat. 
the headers are really cute. And then of course, if you do these on the book pages, you can simply tear them out and apply them to your, to your journal cards or directly on your page. So I hope this gives you some ideas. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, like and subscribe, that would be really great. And then um, if you're interested in more, just uh, check us out again. Talk to you later.